Welcome back, everybody, to Gold Rush. I am an old guy gaming, and we are going to hit uh, 500 ounces on this next cleanout. And so I thought I'd bring you guys back and give you an update on where we are with that. So I just have, uh, we actually have enough now. I got the hopper, conveyor hopper full, but uh, we're going to do another uh, dump truck load two, and then we'll do the clean out. And then we'll probably run into town. Um, I, I, well, I have to check the prices. Last time they looked, they had started to dip and back down a little bit, but not terribly bad, but somewhat. And, uh, you know, see how much we're going to get from that. And then we should... We should get somewhere close to around 600 grand, I think, from 500 ounces ish. Uh, well, maybe not quite that much. Maybe 550. We'll see. Depends upon what the price is doing. And then uh, we might go ahead and get our D rocker. Uh, also, want to kind of just kind of wanted to show you what's going on here. Um, so I've got all of these uh, this area here marked because uh, this is you know pretty good gold. Uh, especially that one. That one's going to be really shallow. The, the, these back ones are really good too. Um, so my plan is to, and I think I might have shared this with you in the last episode or two, uh, my plan is to pretty much cut this all the way back. But what that means then is that we're going to need to make a ramp uh, to the back 40 of this place. And I'm, gonna, I'm planning on using and trying out for the first time uh, the bulldozer uh, to assist with that. And we'll probably just lease the bulldozer because I don't see that as something I'm going to use a lot. It's going to be more of a situational or occasional thing. Um, at least not right right now. Maybe later on we might. Uh, but this dirt here, like I said, that I'm pulling out is pretty good dirt. Um, I've jumped in the backhoe and get the top part of it and just drop it down into the dump truck. And then, you know, when I get it low enough for the front loader to reach, then I come down here and grab it with the front loader. I'm getting uh, getting a little bit better with the backhoe. I, I uh, remapped some of the keys and, um, you know, definitely improving on it for sure. Uh, but I still am much, much faster with the front loader. So, uh, but the backhoe's, you know, the backhoe's fun though. It's it's just, I don't know, it's really fun to operate. Not, and the front loader's okay, but I like the, uh, doing the backhoe. So anyway, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this last uh, dump truck load going here. I've had, you know, various uh, repairs as usual, and I got a couple mechanics working on things. Um, I just recently replaced both of the electric motors in our duplex jigs. Then I had a lightning strike, and it blew out one of the brand new motors. I mean, like, within, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes of me replacing it. So it's like, what the heck, man? Um, so I'm actually hanging on to the uh, the blown motor because um, the mechanics I've noticed will will work on your uh, your parts too, like your your damaged parts, which is I don't know. I, in a sense, that's not really ideal because you want them working on the wash plant so you can stay, you know, keep the production going. So, but because I just bought that doggone engine, and you know they're around two grand or so a pop. I thought, well, let's hang on to this and, and see if one of those uh, mechanics will um, go, you know, go work on it and start repairing it so I can can use it. What are, I must have had the low beams on there. Okay. Uh, all right. So let's grab, jump into our dump truck here and bring this load up. Um, I have recently... I uh, just started playing Farm Simulator, uh, Farming Simulator 22, and just really having a blast uh, playing that game too. Um, so if you guys haven't uh, checked out the the new Farm Sim series, uh, you're certainly welcome to do so. Uh, I I, <laughs> I decided to name it um, the Greenhorn series because you know I'm so I'm as you guys if you've been watching me for a while you know I'm new kind of new to these simulator types of games and Farming Simulator is quite a bit more in my opinion. Com complicate well i don't know if complicate is the word there's just more to it than there is to gold rush there's a lot more machinery to operate and so i'm just getting used to it getting used to how to you know mow hay in a field and get my keep my line straight and that sort of thing and uh yeah it's been <laughs> it's been a challenge but it's been a fun challenge i've very much been enjoying it so yeah go check that out if you guys haven't already 
So yeah, we're 99%. We're just basically going to turn this on for a couple of seconds and turn it right back off again. And then we'll be ready to do this clean out. And I'm expecting, like I said, around 550,000 uh, from the clean out. There's the, the broken motor right there. So I got a mechanic working on this belt right here. And then I have another mechanic working on something. I saw him working on something. Oh yeah, over here on the on the water pump. Okay, so that should be all we need to run. I just have to wait for everything to turn to 100% down there. Yeah, we got the message, okay. So now what we're gonna do is turn this off, but we'll turn the washing equipment back on. You guys have seen me do this clean out before, so you pretty much know the drill. The only, the only thing I've really been doing differently um, is I've been doing all the non, um, what do you call it, uh, miner's moss cleanouts first with, with the buckets just to kind of get them out of the way. And then I've been doing the miner's moss second. I mean, it, it all comes out the same in the wash, but um, I, I find that to be a little bit, just a little bit easier, less stuff in the way that I, you know, keep running into and whatnot. Uh, let's see, what else can I tell you guys? I am, um, my wife and I have been watching a Gold Rush on Discovery, and we are right at the very tail end of Season 2, so that's been interesting. I don't know, I think we have one, maybe two more episodes to go, and then, then we'll start Season 3. So, I think it's funny that she's, uh, and very cool, uh, that she... I got her into watching that because that's not normally something she would watch, you know. Um, she likes like true crime shows and that kind of stuff, but you know, I I talked her in. I may have told you guys this already, but I talked her into watching one episode of Gold Rush with me, and she was going, "Yeah, okay, I'll give it a try." And then as soon as she saw them get some gold, she was like instantly hooked. It was just really funny. Um, so now she wants to watch it all the time. So. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and do this. Uh, we are at 79% on the magnetite, and I already have a full bucket in the back of my pickup. So we're going to also cash in on the magnetite when we go into town and uh, hope we have enough to get that third and final upgrade, you know, that reduces the gold loss. I don't know if we'll be able to do that or not, but, we'll, you know, we'll see how it comes together here. All right, let's do this one. We'll see how much gold we get. And while we're waiting, we'll run over here and get everything off the duplex jigs. Let's get this bucket out of the way, too. Yeah, I just found it, like I said, a little easier to, to do all the buckets first and then do the hog mats later. Because otherwise, what I would do is I would stack all these buckets up here, but then they'd be in my way and I'd be knocking them over. And it's like, nah, let's do this a little bit differently. All right, we got 20 ounces of gold out of the bucket from up there. That's actually not bad. That's not bad at all. Um, because, like I said, we, you know, we've been in the good, you know, the better dirt here. See, I just knocked that guy over. All right, so let's go ahead now and do the duplex jigs. And we'll probably, I'm going to guess to mate, we're going to get about 12 to 14. Well, we could, it could be, let's say 13 to 15. We could get 13 to 15 out of these because, again, I'm in a little bit better dirt. So on old Arnold, for me anyways, so far, a normal clean out is about 40 ounces of gold. Uh, keeping in mind that I'm on Tier 3 equipment and I you know, only really have two helpers so far that are Tier 1. So that's very important to keep in mind, too. Um, and... A good clean out is, you know, 50 ounces or higher. So if I can get 50 ounces or higher, you know, we've gotten ourselves a good clean out. Did I not turn that on? I didn't. Okay. I'm going to say, man, why isn't that running? Because you didn't turn it on. Oh, we've got to put another bucket in here. So we'll just take, you know, whatever magnetite we get when we're done with this clean out and add it to the full bucket that I already have. And you just see, I mean, if we can get that last tier three, you know, gold, re, gold loss reduction upgrade, that would be fantastic. Cause I don't know, in my mind, it seems to me like that's the most important one out of all of them. All right, put that guy down there. 
Uh, we can grab this bucket and put it back in front of the jig here. Duplex jig, that is. All right. Grab you and throw you in there, and then we'll see what the final tally is once the wave table's done. All right, now, whilst we're waiting for that, let's go ahead and grab our hog pen mats, and we'll do those next. I usually do those next, and then the big mats last. No particular reason. It's just uh, the way I've been doing it lately. It seems to work out pretty good. So we got all of those. Put these in. At some point, I want to do a hog pan only versus a, a you know large miner moss only clean out and see which one's better. I, I would expect the large ones to be better, but it'd be kind of it not you know more more just to see. Okay. Oh wow, we got 19 ounces out of that. Holy crap, that's really good. I was thinking 13 to 15. That's really good from the duplex chicks. That means each one of those buckets almost got five ounces of gold a pop. That's really high. Um, the highest maybe I've even seen. Normally, I'm, we're you know we're looking at two and a half to three ounces per bucket on the duplex chicks. So that's really good. We might yeah, this is going to be a good clean out, you guys. This is going to be a good clean out. All right, let's uh here let's just do it, throw you there, and we'll start the this guy and we'll get the hog pan mats going. Uh, while that's going on, let's go ahead and reset the hog pans here. And, uh, whoops. Let's see, what else is going on? Not a whole lot, really. It's been a couple of, couple of days in real life since I've played. Uh, as far as the end time, uh, or, yeah, end game time goes, it is uh, almost 2 p.m., on the same day, you know, four days till winters or day 27, I guess I should say. Um, but you know, I, I've been playing over the period of several real time days because obviously I can't sit here and play 24 real time hours. Uh, no, that isn't going to work, but, uh, it seems to be working out really well for me to have that time, you know, all the way on one X or real time, because it just gives you more time you know, to make as much money in a given day as possible. Now, when winter rolls around, at that point, you know, I will definitely speed up at the time. I'm not planning on mining in the winter uh, on our first season here. Well, here's another little trick, too. You can take and put these grills right up here, and they'll stay put instead of... Because I was throwing them down on the ground, and this is just a little faster. I was watching somebody's video and I saw them do that. I can't remember exactly who it was. It might have been um, uh, Split in Two. I've uh, been watching a couple of his videos. I've been watching a little bit of um, Old Man Gaming, uh, who is a completely different person than me. I am un old guy gaming. He is old man gaming and he plays uh, a lot of Gold Rush. So, watching some of his videos and uh, watch a little bit of that uh, of Dre. Uh, but his stuff is older. He, you know, he his is a lot uh, when you know the game first came out like four years ago. He's got some newer stuff too. But uh, I try and watch the the guys that have you know more recent content just because it's going to be more relevant to this gameplay here. Okay, so we got those mats washing. Let's go ahead and start grabbing these. At some point, I'll probably put another uh, nuggetator over on this side, but for now, that's not the highest priority. Uh, because these things are pretty spendy. I mean, they're they're like over 20 grand, I think. So it's not something I'm at the point yet where I want to just start throwing that kind of money out. I mean, I can afford to, but we have to prioritize, right? And the highest priority next for me is the D-Rocker. Okay, so put these guys back here. All right, I'm just going to put the, the grills back on now because if I don't, I'll forget. Start the plan up and then get that message. Hey, yo, you're losing gold. <laughs> All right. So now we'll grab these mats. Let's move this a little closer to our uh, area, our work area here. Yeah, I saw that one fall out. 
So let's see, there's still three more episodes that still haven't been, uh, they're, they're up and scheduled on the channel, but they haven't been released yet. So I'm still about four episodes ahead of you guys. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind for comments, but we're slowly getting caught up. You know, as I start playing more farm sim, I'll play this a little bit less. Um, and then, you know, once we get caught up, you know, then, then I'll try and, you know, I, I don't know if I'll be able to do an episode a day moving forward, but you know, I expect to, I plan to have, you know, multiple episodes per week of this. Cause I'm going to keep playing this along with farm simulator, farming simulator. All right. I'll wash those guys. Um, this bucket will probably fill up right before the very end of this. And that happens because our guys working this hog pen slowly get us a little bit ahead on those mats. So those mats are at 56% right now. Uh, so basically we get one, uh, 156% on these two mats per uh, dig cycle, I guess you'd call it, or, or wash cycle. Uh, because those, you know, workers are working on that. So I can see where they're going to really be helpful later on, you know, when we can get a full crew of workers going on this. What it basically means for me is um, I can I can just dig longer and we have much, much larger washouts because we can we have a, a lot higher capacity. All right. So while we go while we're going to put those back, let's grab you. This is the this bucket's going to give us the most stuff. I always get the most gold from the. Um, oh, wait, you know what? We didn't, did we completely finish washing these out? I, I think we did. Here, if I put this in, it'll, it'll tell me if there's any gold still in it. Yeah, we, we completely washed them out. Okay, so there, I guess there just wasn't enough left in there to capture anything. All right, let's start the magnetite separator and take and put these back in place while that's running i'm excited to see how much we're going to get out of this bucket because again this is the bucket that always has the most gold in it so if we got 20 out of that one i'll bet you we get i'm going to say i'll bet you we get at least 30 ounces out of this one bucket Put these grills back, so don't forget. Oop. All right, let's see what happens here. So I'm guessing 30 ounces. Now let let's say let's say 25 to 30 ounces. Okay, here we go. Let's see what it does. Yeah, look at that gold climbing in the upper right hand corner. It is shooting up there. That is some really good dirt over there that we've gotten into. So what did I say? 25 to 30 ounces? Okay. Let's just see here. 39 ounces? Are you kidding me? Woo-wee! Wow! <laughs> oh, man! Look at that, you guys. We got 555.322 ounces of gold. Holy cow, man. That is awesome. All right. Um, well, let's uh let's shut everything down here and head into town. Well, actually I want to check the I want to check the prices first just to, before we go in cuz if they're really low oh, oh, I need to put a bucket up there. We should wait just a little bit longer, maybe do another clean out, but we'll see what where they are. Okay. Let's hook that back up. Turn off the Jenny and the water pump. Wow. Almost 40 ounces from that one bucket, you guys, on a tier three setup. That is pretty, that's probably the best gold I've been into so far. Uh, all right. How are our prices? 12, yeah, they've dropped. Hmm. They've dropped. I mean, they almost hit 1220 around five o'clock in the morning on this day. No, oh, I have to decide what I want to do about that. Um, I mean, we're still, we're still going to get one heck of a payout even at 1214. 
Yeah, you know what? Let's just let's just do it. Let's just do it. All right, so we want to grab this other magnetite bucket. And as you can see, I, I have a full bucket right there, too. And we might be able to get ourselves the D-Rocker. This is 98%. Almost completely full, too. Is it in? Yep. Okay. Let's head on over... Drop our magnetite off, uh, and I, oh, and I have twenty two hundred and forty seven already uh, in magnetite on top of this. So yeah, we might be able to get that that tier three gold reduction or gold loss reduction upgrade this time around. We'll see. It's going to be close because that one's expensive. It's the most expensive one, and again, probably for good reason. The next one I would probably get is the one that gives us the larger bars because, you know, it's just speeds things up, really. Okay, let's grab you. And you. It's up to 20 percent all right so we have 2247 let's pull the lever 13,092 I want to say that that upgrade is 13,000 and some odd um well let's go check if it is I might actually do do a couple more cleanouts before we sell because you know if we can get that upgrade we're we're gonna make even more money significantly more money just because we won't lose as much gold well let's go see I, I don't remember exactly I want to say it was 13,000 something but let's go see what it is and if I can't do it then whoop I think I'm going to wait um, and do another clean out or three so that I can get it before we cash in all this gold. Because this is the hands down the most gold I've had so far in this game at one time, you know. And maybe, maybe all time. I don't know. All right. Good Lord, I keep running into stuff. Okay, let's see what the deal is here. So, upgrade. Yeah. We're, oh, man, we're just about there. Goodness gracious. All right, you guys, here's the thing then. Um, with the amount of gold that we have, I, I need to get this upgrade. It just, we're going to lose, I don't know how much, lots. Tens of thousands of dollars, we'll say, uh, if I smelt this without this upgrade. So, what I'm going to do is go back. Uh, to the claim and keep mining and do I don't know we'll do maybe anywhere from I don't know two to four more clean outs just so we can get enough magnetite to get to 13,222 ish uh, where am I going and when I reach that point which will be later in this in-game day I'll bring you guys back at that point and then we'll come into town hopefully the price will go back up a little bit and we'll cash in, and we should easily have enough money to get the D-Rocker. All right, so that's the plan. I'll bring you guys back um, when that time comes. All right, guys, I am back, um, and we have 658 ounces of gold right now. And uh, I'm just finishing up the last of the upper part of this pathway and like I had mentioned earlier, once once I dig as much of this out as I can and still be able to drive through here, then what we're going to do is go uh, rent ourselves a bulldozer. And we're going to uh, make make a ramp. And that'll be my first uh, attempt at using a bulldozer. 
too. So another piece of machinery that we got to get used to. So I'm just repositioning the excavator to right about here. I might have to, uh, I might have to move the dump truck. Here, let's get right to about here. I might have to move the dump truck too. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. You know what? Why don't we do that? Why don't we move this over just a little bit more? I could even actually back that straight in, I suppose. That should be fine. We, we should be able to reach that from there, I think. <laughs> okay. Let's get our lights on here. And... Get to driving mode. All right. So, yeah, we're just... um finishing up this upper part here and then uh, the plan will be to uh, get back down uh, in the front loader to get the, the lower portion and then that'll be about it for this part for now until I get the ramp built and then once I get the ramp built then then I'm gonna dig the rest of this out because there's a couple of really good gold spots uh, right in here if we go into the map and uh, mark those so yeah see there's a, a decent amount of gold there a decent amount of gold there that one's not too good or bad this one's meh but uh, this one has a lot of gold uh, but it's also a very really shallow square so a lot is relative i suppose um, but we'll dig all of this out as far as as high up to the bank as we can because it does have the gold in it but the plan is that i'm going to make the ramp probably up through here because these first few squares are not this one's pretty good but i mean you know whatever we dig out of this making the ramp will actually process so we'll probably have to start back here somewhere and start gradually digging down until we hit bedrock uh, down that way that is the plan anyways at this point in time so we'll see how you know how that comes together so yeah let's just uh do a dump truck load here with all of this. Um, also, just so you guys know, I have uh, ordered a uh, a side control with a stick on it and, and a new steering wheel too uh, for Farming Simulator. But what I'm going to try and do is get that to also work here in Gold Rush. Um, there's an application called um, XPad that you can use to map keyboard uh, keys to, you know, to a controller. Now, this, the steering wheel should just be seen automatically by the game a, as a controller, so that part shouldn't be a problem. But, you know, I, I want to use the stick for, in Farming Simulator, I'm, I want to use it for the front-end loader, and, and, you know, some of the logging equipment has uh, somewhat intricate controls, too. So, and, you know, using the mouse and the keyboard for stuff like that, is just kind of a pain in the neck. Now I've gotten pretty good in this game with uh, the mouse and keyboard, uh, you know, by remapping some keys and just you know practicing and stuff like that. But I still think a stick would be better, um, more fun and more realistic too. You know, so uh, looking forward to uh, setting that up. All right, let's just kind of keep scraping a little more off of there, and. Um, I guess we could come down and grab this too. And maybe we'll nab a little bit here. Let's bring it up just a smidge. Okay, that's pretty close to what we want to get up here. There's a little bit more up here I suppose we could do. Bring that up a little more. Um, okay, let's bring that down just a hair and over this way. 
Yeah, we didn't really get a good bite off of that, but oh well. How about if we go here, down a little bit? The angle's a little bit odd here is the thing. There we go, we got a good bite there. Alright, what are we at? 73% on the truck. Um, here's a spot here we could probably grab. And maybe over here a little more too. Bring that up a little bit. Uh, let's change, yeah, let's change to this view for a second so we can kind of see a little bit better. Didn't get a full bucket on that one. Let's bring this out, this down, and do a scoop that way. There we go. Ninety-two percent. Let's do a scoop right here. That should fill us up. Ninety-nine percent. Okay. <laughs> let's just do a little, let's see, maybe right over here. Just a little scoop. Oh, well, that wasn't a little scoop. Okay, there's 100%. We'll just leave this in the bucket for now, I suppose. Let's bring that back in. Oh, crap. Oh, that sucks. Um, all right. So, <laughs> we got pretty close to the edge there. We could actually dig this back, this one back further. Um, now that I think about it, I'm losing my dirt, man. So, let's go into driving mode. Yikes. Yeah, because there's there's still, you know, dirt that we can drive along here. It's just the kind of the last two squares over there. We're getting as about as narrow as we want to get. Cuz you know, I don't want to completely mess up my access to get up here until I have the ramp built. Plus we got to get the bulldozer over there too and all that. So um so if we park right about here-ish, we could probably keep digging up high uh, for a little bit longer. But I'm going to have to clear some more room down below, of course, with the front loader. All right, so let's switch out of there. I think I have another load already in the conveyor hopper. So, um, and let's see, how close are we to our next clean out? Oh, 27. Yeah, we still have a, a bit to go. I've been checking the prices, and they're, they're still kind of dipping down a little bit. Not drastically, but we're going to get a huge payout. The biggest payout in that I've had yet in this game um, in one single, you know, sale, anyways. Okay, so let's hop out of here and get our machine restarted. My mechanic is actually working on this engine, and he's slowly repairing it. So it is at 83%. That engine was completely broken earlier, so that's kind of cool that he's doing that, especially for something like that that's pretty darned expensive, you know? All right, let's turn everything on. Right before I started the camera again, I had to replace all my trommel rollers, and I bought an extra set of those too, so... We should be good to go. I have an extra set of duplex jig pumps because those seem to go out quite a bit.
All right, so yeah, we're only at 26% here. So I'm going to uh, cut the camera again and just keep digging it until we have another full uh, clean out. We'll do the full clean out and then we'll see where our prices are at that point. Uh, let's check them right now. So yeah, they're currently at 1214. So yeah. All right. Well, yeah, I'll bring you guys back um, right at the tail end of our, our next clean out. We also have something like 26% magnetite now in our bucket, which should be enough for us to get that final uh, tier three upgrade. Yeah. See, it's at 26 and then, you know, it'll be even higher than after, after we do that next clean out. So I'll bring you guys back uh, towards the tail end of the, of the next clean out and then we'll go into town um, and get our upgrade and sell our gold unless the price really tanks between now and then. All right, so I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, uh, we are just about finished with this next clean out here. So I'm just putting all the miners, mosses, and grills back together. And we have one more bucket. This is our big bucket. Uh, not, it's not going to be as good as the, the last couple times because we, you know, we weren't in, in as good a dirt, but it still should be fairly decent. So, yeah, this is all the miner's mosses from this bucket. So let's see what we get there. Um, this should push us up to 700 ounces um, and beyond a little bit. I'm expecting it to anyways. And it looks like we're going to get about 42% magnetite, which is definitely enough uh, for us to do our... Uh, our final um, gold loss upgrade. So we'll set that over there so it's ready to go. And let's see what we get. While we're waiting for that, we'll run this up to the pickup truck. And we need to check the price prices again too. But unless they've severely dropped, I, I think we're just going to go ahead and sell because I'm down to 32000 27.66 ounces. That's actually not bad uh, out of that. Yeah, crap. It, <laughs> it dropped out of 1213. Uh, I mean, hmm. I'm just trying to decide what to do here. Let's turn everything off. I, well, here's the thing. I do owe old Arnold for the very early part of the, the of this morning from this day, but he'll just take a little chunk of gold out. We should have enough to pay our workers. Yeah, we definitely will have enough to pay our workers. If that's not enough to pay our workers, we're doing something wrong. So that's not our problem, really. Um, I don't know. I'm just... I don't know if I should sell now. I mean, we're still going to make... a metric butt ton of money <laughs> doing it but the price keeps dropping is a thing i'm <sighs> but the, here's the other thing though i mean if if we don't sell now then that means i gotta keep using the shaker and i can't upgrade to the d rocker which is going to get us more gold so decisions decisions man um we still have some good dirt there, not a not a whole lot more. There's probably one to one to two more cleanouts at the most before I have to stop and start, you know, working on the ramp with the bulldozer. Yeah, maybe even just one more cleanout. Well, no, because we're gonna carve a little more down from up there too. So what time is it? It is five twenty two PM, so we have tons of time left in this day. Um, well, I'll tell you what, let's do, let's go into town and at least do the magnetite and get our upgrade just so we can, so we can feel good about that. Right. And then, um, I'm going to think a little bit more about whether or not want, whether or not I want to sell right now or go a little longer. I, you know, the more I think about it, I think we're going to sell now. For the main reason of so that we can get the D rocker, I, I think that's what the right move. So yeah, let's let's just go ahead and sell now. now like I said, we're we're gonna get a big payout from this gold. I mean, 719 ounces? Are you kidding me? <laughs> 
That is a lot of gold. <coughs> that is a lot of gold. All right, so let's stop here and do the magnetite. Oh, I guess we better put our brake on. And that gets us up to 15,384. We needed 1322 or 222, I think, or something like that. Are these buckets empty? Just making sure. Yeah, they are. Okay. Okay, let's go get uh, some gold smelted after we get our tier three upgrade. Okay, let's do this. So, upgrade. By the high end pyrometer, loss upgrade two, gold loss reduced. 1322, let's do it. Boom, baby. All right, so we're going to have minimal gold loss. Now, the next one we'll go for is um, this one, which will allow us to make even larger ingots. Uh, and that one's 8818. So that's going to be, oh, that's probably going to be another full bucket and change. Um, oh, wait a minute. No, right. Okay, hold on a sec. We gotta we gotta get back out and back in for it to upgrade uh, update our magnetite. It's gonna say we have enough. Um, so yeah, at least another full bucket I think to get enough to to do this. Um, because that'll be the next one we'll do, and then of course we'll work on the cost reduction. And the last thing we'll worry about is the time if we even worry about it at all. Okay, great. So let's go to smelt and. So out of 180 ounces, we only lose four and a half ounces of gold. You know what I should have done before we bought it? We should have just seen how much we would have lost. I think it was six ounces, if I recall correctly. So now, um, you know, now we're only losing four and a half ounces. Very cool. All right, let's get this gold smelted. Um, I'm going to have to make multiple bars here. So when I have all of those made, I'll bring you guys back. We'll head over to the bank and make ourselves a ton of money and then we'll go from there all right guys i actually ran out of money to, <laughs> to finish smelting my gold i still have 60 ounces of gold uh, but zero money but we've got some big gold bars in there so let's just go sell this and then i'll come back later and uh finish the rest of it so, um, depending upon how much money we get out of this, I might have to do that first before we can get the D-Rocker. Because uh, it was it was 400 and some odd thousand dollars. It was very expensive. Uh, but we'll see what we can get out of this. All right. Any chance that went up? Oh, it did. Okay, nice. It did go up just a little bit. Man, it makes me want to want to hold out a little bit more. But now nah, we we got to get this going here. So, all right. So sell, sell, and sell. Whoops. All right, that gets us up to seven hundred and eighty thousand, seven hundred eighty thousand five hundred eight dollars. Over three quarters of a million bucks, guys. That's the most money we've had so far. At, at any one point in time in this game. Plus, we still have another 60 ounces. Um, so, all right. That is cool, man. So the next thing that's going to happen now is we are going to... Um, we're going to buy ourselves the D-Rocker and get that hooked up in the next episode. But what I'm going to do is go back and we might as well get the rest of this gold uh, taken care of too. So I'm going to go get the rest of that taken care of and then um, we're going to wrap up this episode here. And then in the next episode, the plan will be to buy and install and start using the D-Rocker. Um, that's going to be awesome. And that's going to, you know, the D-Rocker, of course, is going to produce more gold for us than the Shaker will. And we should start seeing even bigger and bigger payouts. Uh, after we get the D-Rocker in place and I finish digging out the rest of... Um, you know, the rest of that good dirt as far as I can go while still keeping a, a roadway on the top. But then we're going to rent a bulldozer and we're going to make ourselves a ramp um, down uh, into 
uh, the back part of our, our claim and then start really hitting the good gold. So I'm very much looking forward to that. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I appreciate everybody's support and comments, and I'm glad you guys are enjoying the series. I'm enjoying it a lot, too. And if you haven't already done so, check out my Farming Sim, um, Farming Simulator 22 Series 2. I'm brand new to the game. I'm absolutely terrible at it, but I'm also having one heck of a good time at it, and I'm getting better as time goes on. And I mentioned earlier, I think, to you guys that I'm getting that new controller that should help me uh, get better at it, too. So I uh, hope to see you there also in Farming Simulator, and we'll be back for some more Gold Rush, too, and keep having fun in this awesome game. Take care, guys. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.